So there you go. BetTheAside.com. All right, Lewis, where were we? All right, as we said at the start of the show, UFC 230 happened at the weekend. Several talking points. Oh, Floyd Mayweather got some juicy news on Floyd Mayweather. I'm trying to tease it like everybody doesn't fucking know. Of course we all know. Should we start with that? Or should we start? No, let's do UFC 230. Yeah. That's so yeah. juicy. That's so fucking juicy. <sighs> Yeah, well, well, I mean, we're talking about it now. So, obviously, last night, which I'm assuming was Monday morning in Japan, Floyd Mayweather was at a press conference uh, for Rising, which is uh, the Japanese promotion. Used to be Pride, ran by the same people that ran Pride. So, re- re- realistically, it's Pride, uh, you know, repackaged under a different corporate name. Um, Floyd Mayweather versus what is the name? I haven't got it in front of me. Tenshin Yakamama Nama, which is crazy. The, Floyd Mayweather is fighting whoever that guy is. That's crazy. Yeah. Twenty-year-old kickboxer, twenty-seven and zero kickboxer, four and zero in MMA. Uh, but to the American audience, it's Tenshin uh, Nasukawa. Um, the fight is being promoted by Re- uh, Rise in Federation. Blah blah blah. So yeah, I mean. This is like for American audiences, a fairly unknown dude. I mean, unless you're really in the know, you're you don't really know much about this guy. Um, you're really in the know, and you couldn't even pronounce his fucking last name. So it's, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, Floyd Mayweather. I don't know what the play is here. Okay, because this it, it's not it's not everything it looks like. It, it, it can't. Of course, you you're making the money sound. Of course, it's money. Of course, it's money. No, I was but, rolling a booger on my finger. Do does Ryzen have that kind of money to pay pay Floyd Mayweather? They have to. Because- I they're saying it's going to be like a a sixty thousand person arena. I'm assuming, like I said, I we've talked about this before on this program, it's very specifically about One FC and sort of um, what they're doing and bringing in a couple of the bigger UFC guys. Um, you know. Here, we just don't, um, the American audience, they really only care about UFC. The average person, you want to get the casual fan, and UFC is, is synonymous with MMA. It's a Coca-Cola, you know, it's the brand. It is, you know, Bellator is doing great, but let's fucking get real, okay? It is the UFC, and we don't really look beyond that. Um, I'm assuming that Ryzen must make fucking crazy money. They're doing a 60,000-person arena. They, they know how to promote it. I mean, if it's the people that are behind Pride, you know, th- those had massive, massive audiences and had a huge popularity, and they were paying guys a lot back then. I'm just assuming they're going to co-promote it with him, and it's an opportunity to, you know, you know, I'm assuming make a shit ton of money. That's the play. And maybe what? For, what? for Floyd to dip his toe in the waters of MMA, because I think they're going to do this as kickboxing, because he showed himself with MMA gloves on. Um, what were you going to say? No, no, well, I was going to say the rules have yet to be announced, okay? So they're obviously going to do some kind of modified rules. Wouldn't totally surprise me if they came out and said it was going to be a boxing match. You know, you never know. Maybe it's going to be a kickboxing match with modified rules, maybe kicked above the waist. Maybe it'll be that. Back in my kickboxing days, when I used to fight for the Black Knights in Burnley, um, the kickboxing I did was, yeah, kicks above the waist only. Maybe it will be that. That makes sense for Floyd Mayweather because obviously he's used to blocking punches to the face and the body, not kicks to the legs. So, I okay, if I'm going to put money on it, I'm going to say it's going to be a kickboxing bout with uh, kicks above the waist only. Um, you know, back in the day, Pride, I think Pride folded because they had, uh, it, it became public that they had associations or uh yeah, they, they, they were linked to the Yakuza, which is obviously the Japanese mafia, for want of a better description. And uh, they're not, they lost all their TV deals, all, all the corporate sponsors kind of pulled away and stepped away from um, from Pride because they didn't want the links to the Yakuza. Um, who knows if they're involved or not? I, I know nothing about that type of stuff. Can't pretend that I do. I don't really keep up on the Japanese scene, believe it or not. You know, I, I'm not I'm not involved in Japanese subculture. I know you're surprised by that. But it's true. I don't know the ins and outs of the Japanese crime organizations. Um, maybe they're involved, though. Maybe, and they're putting up some of the money. Maybe for Floyd Mayweather, as you say, they're going to co-promote. I know Floyd Mayweather is also uh, managing and promoting and training and looking to get involved in the MMA world. So maybe this is going to be a longer play. Maybe it's not a one-off, um, you know, payday for Floyd, they'll say, listen, we'll pay you X amount of money. We'll also take on some of your fighters from the money team. You know, so, I mean, there's there's many ways to skin a cat, many ways to get at the final result. So, it's not going to be as 
simple as we're going to give you $50 million or whatever it is. Although, who knows? Maybe. Maybe. But uh, definitely, definitely a shock yesterday when that came out. Um, it was sort of I out of wonder, nowhere. Yeah, were, I totally were- out of nowhere. But, but I would love to see McGregor and Khabib. I'm looking forward to seeing what they say because obviously Khabib was angling for that fight. McGregor had the fight and lost. Uh, it's going to be interesting because 50 Cent came out already and he's talking shit about uh, Floyd. Obviously, Floyd and 50 Cent, they always go back and forth on social media. But he's talking shit saying, look at who you're fighting here, a 20-year-old, 20 year old, I can't remember what the put-down was. But he does look like an extra from like a boy band. Yeah, well, I mean, look, this guy, um, oh, this is, uh, let's see, what is this? You sent me a tweet from Conor McGregor, what is that? That's okay. McGregor's response to the Mayweather news. The Mayweather news, okay, so. Oh, he goes, oh, I haven't heard this or seen it. Can we bring it up on screen? Oh, who cares? Yeah, it says uh, Conor McGregor, some giggle off that cherry pick kush. And it's him smoking a blunt with uh mike tyson i don't understand it that's it that's i mean that news broke and then he put that out on twitter holding proper 12 the next night yeah but hold on he was he was on instagram talking some fucking weird lecturous bullshit about mike tyson as well so maybe it's got something to do with that i don't maybe it's not linked who knows who knows but uh that'll be interesting so anyway there you go floyd mayweather is officially unretired again a lot of people last night their initial reaction was that this was a hoax a scam fake news, whatever you want to call it. But if they're holding press conferences in Japan, you know, you, the, the Japanese are very serious people. Mm. Uh, and I don't think they're going to go through this exercise just to fool everybody. For this, Floyd is New Year, this is New Year's Eve, correct? Apparently so. New Year's I mean, Eve. That's so close. I mean, that's not really enough time to learn any real new skill sets for Floyd Mayweather. But also, he's been posting pictures of him training MMA and kickboxing for a little while now. I think Floyd, under the radar, is training MMA. This is what I think is going on. I think that he's prep because he knows he can, his name, that star power, he can be the biggest MMA draw of all time. He can put His MMA debut, I don't give a fuck who it was against. If Floyd Money Mayweather made a debut in MMA eventually, that would be the most watched fight ever, period. Well, I don't know about that, to be honest. I really don't. No, 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 no. You're forgetting that uh, Mayweather, you know, of course, super successful and wealthy as a boxer, but he, all of his pay-per-views haven't been that good. They're not, they didn't all do astronomical numbers. You know, some of them uh, quite recently prior to McGregor weren't that good. So you got to have a good dance partner, you know, because remember Mayweather, listen, I'm a fan of the sweet science and the way you know, he handles his opponents, but it's not always the most uh, exciting thing. Of course, with Oscar De La Hoya, that was big. With Pacquiao, they were huge. Of course, the McGregor one was massive. So when you've got somebody they can dance off and two mm. two colossal forces, yeah, that brings a lot of uh, eyeballs. But when it's just him, not necessarily. He does have a dance partner. Three letters. U-F-C. Oh, oh. yeah. No, 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 no. If... if Mayweather came to the UFC for sure, but about. he would only do that uh, under a co-promotion, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, Harrington, you know. uh, he messaged me, rumors have been surfacing that he's been training for five years, dating back to his first retirement fight before Pacquiao, meaning an MMA. Here's the thing, though. If he was training any sort of real MMA, there'd be some footage or some 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 stories, some fucking like, oh, dude, this guy trains with him. I, I mean, has there been anybody... Talking about Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley said that he was training him for a while. You know, really? he said that he was getting him. This was a while ago. Uh, I want to say last year. Who knows? Was it last year? Maybe shortly after the McGregor fight. Yeah. Tyron Woodley was talking about him and, you know, helping him with his takedowns and things like that. So, but I think this fight will be a kickboxing fight with kicks above the waist only. That le- lends itself to Floyd's skill set. But it doesn't stop things like spinning wheel kicks, which uh, Floyd definitely isn't used to dealing with, or front kicks to the face. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, that'll be interesting to see how all that pans out. All right, Mike, real quick, I got to talk about Blue Chew, who I, I love. I what the, the best sponsor on the network, in my opinion, is Blue Chew, because if you don't know, um, it's the same active ingredient as Viagra or Cialis. It is a chewable dick pill. Is that a good way to put it? 
Hey, I mean, I, I feel like it gets the point across. It's definitely yeah. painting a picture that you chew it and it's for your dick and it's in the form of a pill. Yeah. And this isn't for erectile dysfunction. No. I know we know Lewis uses it for that because he has erectile dysfunction. Weak man. Apart from when he's looking at men. But it's, for the, for it, it, it's a sexual aid. And Lewis also needs help in that department. So this is really, no yeah. wonder you love this, you know, but bluechew.com, and you don't need a prescription. You don't need to go and see the doctor and say, huh, I'm not very good in the sack. How do they do this, Lewis? How do they get some of this product you go, inside them? You go to bluechew.com and you just fill out an online application so you get your prescription right online. You don't have to sit in front of a doctor and say, hey doc, I'm trying to, you know, get my rocks off better. That's the best way I describe it. It makes my sex life better, okay? It makes, it, this is because it doesn't make your dick bigger. I don't want to make it sound like it makes your dick bigger, but it does make my dick bigger. And I'll tell you how. Because <laughs> let me tell you why. Please because tell me how you are you are fuller and more ready. It's imagine the first time you have sex with a really hot chick. It's as big as it's gonna get. That's the best way to okay. put it. So okay. From, Every time we do this advert, you get far too graphic. No, you know, it's not. I, I'm seeing veins and things in my mind right now. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them, but I will tell you this. It has the same ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. So you know that they were the chewable. So that means they work faster. You can take them anytime, even on a full stomach. And this stuff is cheaper than those other two. So this is a no brainer. And as Lewis said, you don't need a doctor's office appointment or spend time waiting in the pharmacy line because Blue Chew ships right to your door in discreet packaging. So, of course, for our loyal listeners, we have a fantastic deal. Visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free. When you use the promo code BYM, just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's blue, B-L-U-E, chew, C-H-E-W.com, promo code BYM. Have a fantastic time. This one's on me and Lewis. Your wife, your boyfriend, your whatever will thank us. Lewis, let's continue on with this show.